thank you very much to our uh, this uh, chairpersons for giving opportunity to share my experience uh, and the subject of the retropupillary iris lenses. As you know, I still uh, uh, I implant I will implant into the bag. It is still the uh, good result in after cortex surgery. But you know there are certain situations in which there is a, a uh, this posterior capsule is deficient. Most of the cases maybe during surgery, complicated surgery, or uh, subluxated lens, extremely subluxated lens, even the congenital condition, morphin syndrome, the extreme subluxation is there, or the aphakia with deficient, so many cases. In that case, we have uh, different options. Uh, we can't put the eye well in, the, in the bag. Then we have to think about the other options. Uh, that option may be, you know, maybe angle supported uh, in the HMR, AC eye well, square fixated lenses, or iris crawl lenses that may be enclavated either anteriorly or the posterior. Now, uh, the posterior retro pupillary iris crawl lenses is, is coming up and gaining a popularity because of uh, that is a very easy procedure, less time consuming, and uh, it had wide scope that I would like to show directly come to the video. They'll be better if there's a number of cases. So now you can see, uh, this is the anterior subluxated lens. In this case, usually you, know, you can see uh, it is moving. Mo usually, present mostly, mostly it comes in the anterior chamber. Now you can see, just slightly rotate it, and you can see that the whole lens is, is present almost in the anterior chamber, then slightly rotate and brings in the complete in the anterior chamber, and then uh, remove with the, this uh, simple uh, wire back this without irrigation and you can see without damage you have to remove and then vitrectomy is very very important part in such type of cases so you have to do the vitrectomy for better visualization better to extend with the time slow acetate and the you have to make the incision uh, one uh, 80 degree apart because at that side you have to uh, enclave it so inject the air under air uh, this insert the this iris crawl lens and rotate it horizontally under air, so that we uh, then inject the viscous artery surface. The slide on the one is hold the with the this uh, lens holder and with the another side with the simple spatula or the sinuscule hook. Just you can see, just posteriorly push it, just enclave the iris in the claw of the. You can see the very easy, easy procedure. And the glide, uh, repeat another side. You can see just press slightly, just go behind. You can add the spatula. Um, and then you can see how nicely you can see just like you have uh, implanted the eye well in the uh, posteriorly like in the bike. Now you can see this another case as somebody operated and this came to me with this kind of presentation in which uh, the this eye well is uh, this posteriorly dislocated though it present the mid vitreous and the vitreous present in the anterior chamber again you have to you can see and then the same procedure you can repeat it again again the vitreous is very very important. Uh, the intake chamber must be clear of the any kind of any BTS. Otherwise, you know it may lead to late, late complication, BTS pull, etc. That may lose the detachment, macular edema, etc. So this is very important part of the surgery, especially if the posterior capsule is not there. And you, the, you can see at this side there is uh, some sinicia is present. Just uh, with the help of uh, this even bit a probe, you can just go all around. You can see, and then again you can just inject the polycarpin and constrict the pupil uh, before uh, enclavating the push iris crawl lens. Then rotate it, this iris crawl lens urgently where the site where you want to just enclavate and then hold with the this uh, lens, uh, lens holding forcep and then pass the Sinsky hook from side port but the, both the side post should be at uh, 180 degree apart. And then you can see slightly with the help of sensory who pull the, the iris and go behind it, behind the iris. And then the important because you have to take slightly, tent is slightly um, bring forward so that it tent the, the this uh, haptic part. And then you can see, you can see how nicely in, the, is in, in, a, in this condition you can implant, you can see the beauty of uh, this surgery without any problem different cases so this it has wide a scope you can see any cases you can I'm, I'm going to show later on some in the next video some complicated cases also so the rest of the procedure just you can watch it 
so it has great advantage uh, uh, this police uh, iris lens is uh, above the interior chamber even the screen fixated no need of any uh, any um, any suture or suture related problems and uh, it is uh, posteriorly placed at the anatomical position of the lens and uh, so in the endothelial chance of endothelial damage is very very less and uh, so it is uh, and uh, there is no any problem in clavation and very easy procedure very simple procedure any kind of procedure it takes uh, hardly one to two minutes to enclavate the uh, the iris lens you can see watch again this rotate uh, urgently and the important thing you can watch slide ju just go behind the iris and slightly slide this is hard slightly tilt it you will tilt it you can see the happy side of the iris and this only you have to push like this suppose is enclavate it hide just press it then iris will be enclavated very easily and this is uh, very simple method and it gaining the popularity without any complication company is very very nothing and, uh, not i uh, have not observed much complication sometime it is reported in the book with this complication but till till date i have updated so many cases i have not uh, observed any kind of disc enclavation of such kind of lenses then you can see how the beauty of this uh, this kind of surgery and again you can see this is another case you can see and this is the this uh, carnal opacity you can see and how much you can see how much people dilated and this mechanically pull all around the iris and to assess whether uh, this iris repair can be done to bring it uh, the pupil is small so i am just planning in this case open sky do her the purse instinct type of sutureing that is iris in insert class this 10 0 uh, polypropylene suture in kai pass all around the pupil and see uh, how you can even in these type of cases you can implant the uh, this pussy iris can very well then pass all around in the open there is no capsule so again have to do the vitrectomy it should be clear up slightly go posterior face should be go slightly little behind this little bit tight it and bring the uh, don't tie that this is this and then slightly constrict it and then again you can see here how you can bring this people a small appropriate size of this one you can see again these conditions you can see in the open sky also how you can enclave it very easy other in such type cases in open sky it is very difficult to perform the square fixated lens but the very this you can observe you can see how simply and uh, you can enclave the, these lenses in such kind of conditions you can see from go again from the side port and you have to this enclave it very the iris enclave it now uh, again uh, tight and then make the knot you can see so this is another case you know you can see this is a case of uh, partially entire staphyloma and then even this case see how, what to do and how to do in the set of condition you can see press it with ecstasy eyes present you can see and then uh, uh, do the this and see what happens just you know, just do the capsule at me, and after this, it's a lens commissary because of BTS test. So, unfortunately, BTS test comes, but no problem. You can watch how to manage this now. In a certain stage, you have to manage it. Uh, the, the complication you can see, ask the assistant to hold the iris and make it little bit uh, stretch and then attend it. So, you can implant. You can see even this, ask the assistant to uh, hold with the forcep and simultaneously, you can, you can, and then uh, you can see. Then, then you can repair the iris. You can see. Yeah, bring the iris and you can repair, repair it you can see and then uh, a pupiloplasty can be done simultaneously also that i would like to highlight that this retro pupillary this uh, iris lens is useful in any kind of condition it is very severe to all, uh, all of us all of you even general ophthalmologist anybody you can see uh, and then this is stable lens is very much stable and make then again this one suture so i'm not showing the uh, you can pass from uh, another side vertically and you can see it is uh, enclavated very well another last case because everybody is hurry to go back to the home but you know this is another interested case you can see this uh, I, I will draw posteriorly you can just do the vitrectomy and anybody can do even entire uh, entire segment uh, entire surgeon entire segment surgeon can do 
this is very easy. Even uh, um, this, this kind of I will drop and removal of this, uh, anybody can learn. I am doing also the, the pusher segment. It's simple, uh, simple surgeries, you can see, bring it interiorly and with uh, before that you have to make the incision is uh, is incision and then hold it hold the lens now brings in the interior chamber above the iris and then hold the lens and you can remove the lens very easily and you can again go back and the see what's any any kind of bit test stand or if left you can check it completely but it is again very important and you can see from make a side port 180 degree part. And under uh, this um, irrigation, on irrigation is on, so you can, chamber should be ma maintained properly, you can insert the lens, and again, just rotate it horizontally, and from the side port that you have made, 180 degree, any direction, not a 63 three to nine o'clock, you can implant at the site where the iris is present, if uh, iris is deficient. So the again, hold with the help of this, uh, this lens holding forcep and go again the same procedure. You can see any condition. I'm just showing the number of cases because so only by observation you can see uh, the, the use of this iris lenses, how you perform, in how many different cases you can do. So this is a very simple te technique and better technique if you are, you, are, uh, you are in the trouble, if there is no posterior capsule is deficient, then you can perform very well. You can see again sir, how this pupil is well uh, centered, dilated, uh, centrally placed. Uh, you can see the, the sorry. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, uh, Professor Singh. That was absolutely ex uh, excellent and very, very, very elegant uh, videos and very beautifully explained. If there are any uh, questions from the audience for sir. Uh, Flexus is a PMMA lens. Flexus is not available, though the future may um, uh, it may comes. But uh, these are the big, uh, these are the these are PMMA lenses. <laughs> this is very late. I have till I have n operated number of cases, uh, uh, maybe 200 even more. They have not counted countless number for some of I'm this uh, our hospital reference center. The patient coming from different uh, surrounding district states. Um, other states also MP, but very, very stable. I have not observed any single case of this inflammation. These are number of, I have shown only few cases. That I have a lot of series of different this case. So this is very, very simple, very easy, and very stable. Very good. Sir, I have anybody, you know, in, with any hand complication, it may, it may happen with anybody, at least the youngest has happened, even the expert ha hand, or in the patient condition itself, sometime, you know, Sweden syndrome is there, subluxated, Marfan syndrome, though I have been Marfan syndrome, I have just placed the lens in the bag after this subluxated by pulling different, that is another subject. But the different situation, you may land up in are any condition, Trauma, in trauma cases, you know, earlier I have shown the traumatic uh, dislocation, posterior dislocation, traumatic uh, dislocation, the PCI, well, you may have any, uh, any, so in this way, at least everybody should know. If there is posterior deficient, what to do? Then you should be in confidence enough, then you can manage any kind of complication problem very easily, very nicely. And within, uh, without taking much time, even a open sky, you can implant very well. You know, very difficult to implant the ISK fix at a life uh, lenses. So that's why I have done the series. Only video, that is the reason yeah. I have done. So the is very, very simple. Very simple. Only, you know, you know, only just in case. I would like to, uh, one minute, I will. Yeah, but oh. the only thing is that uh, we can have a confidence that it is going to stay. Yeah. So this one thing, I would like to show so one thing, how to enclavate, how to enclavate. This is very important part, how to enclavate, you know. First, uh, Suppose uh, this is the iris here, uh, and you have placed be, uh, behind the iris, like this. I'm going to in, uh, just rotate the insert. So this is the lens. What to do? This is a, 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 a rather fix. Just slightly, this is the iris, iris plane, and this is the posterior iris here. Slightly like this. If you tilt it, what will happen? You can see the uh, this claw. The claw very big. The, you can just like tilt it, you can see the claw. Once you claw, at the side, you can then what to do? Only just place the thin screw hook at this club and only a small process push to the lens. Like you can this much. And you can feel if there is a, <coughs> if you have this, whether you can, this 
uh, enclavated or not. So it eventually gives beautiful sound, like if you have some kind of you know, a, a sound, or a, a, a small click like this, you can click here to this kind of, that's how what you can feel. Yeah, this this kind of even and you can feel in your hand. That is enclavated very well. Yeah, it, if you do what two two or three cases, it will be very convenient. You can see just put it, it gives little bit some some sound, at least some uh, some friction like this. Like this. Yes, uh, if you have any doubt, if you have any doubt, that's I'm telling if I'm telling this experience, you can you can from the same one watching you can you can build you can observe this is very well enclavated. If you have doubt, put it, see if there is problem, again go, have it again. Sir, what about the biometric calculation in such cases? Biometric calculation, you know, is if it's placed slightly into the knee. So in the normal PCI one, you can reduce the number by one doctor. No, you have to be very gentle. No, no, I have to, uh, this is one case open. I have, I have even the, uh, uh, in other, another, my series of talks, I have just, I have just, uh, this is what I have been done in, uh, in normal cases, in, in closed chamber also. Different techniques, in some class, this is a, in some class technique that in the form of persisting suture. Just I'm trying to elevate further the, the needle and suture. That are, but from outside, but by three port, even the throat, this closed chamber, you can in do the, anybody can do the insert class from the outside, but you have to make different posts, I have the video in some other uh, presentation. So this very much has been very, you have to little bit very gentle, otherwise definitely it may, but you can see, it can be, you can do. Uh, so suture, with suture, suture, sir, yeah. Polypropylene suture. Ten, proline. Penzeroproline. Not, yes. nylon, not the nylon. Yeah, yeah. and, and uh, able to the iris. In fact, this uh, Yes, yes not necessarily. I have already told also. that yes, if the uh, wherever the tissue is available, I think so. We have been using the lensing as a procedure as the increase in increasingly in enclaved lenses. Previously, enclaved lenses came later on. So it was a long, just we have to do a couple of the G-string actually. This I know enclaved in Delhi, but now other family, other person, family member. Uh, it's uh, they come in small sizes also for children. Uh, different kind of different sizes are available, but the, it is not a small size. They have a much more problem. What is the problem? If you implant the smaller, uh, is, uh, small, uh, I say, is smaller in the in the way uh, in the form of optics or in the form of haptic overall. If you both have disadvantages. If you implant the smaller size of optics, what will happen? In the, if you have the, if you people dilate, what will happen? The edge glare is maybe there. You may feel a problem. This is so you have to at least, uh, at, at least at, uh, six, no, six, seven. One potential microcornea also. Yes, micro, yes, different, yes, right? In the microcornea, you can choose. So there is a variable size of lenses available. In the small, you can use, even, you are right, even the smaller kind, you can use the, uh, this iris pal is very best. It's better than other lenses, other, but it's not making smaller lenses. But the iris pal is available in the different sizes. Mm -hmm. But what, and overall size is also very, very important. Overall size, why it is important? If you, if the smaller size, what happened? Pupil, you know, in the periphery, pupil is not mobile. And it is chamber is shallow. Uh, not mobile. So if you have to enclave, uh, 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 not in the, in the mid periphery, you have to enclave periphery. If it enclave uh, periphery, lens will be very much stable. But if it enclave mid periphery, it will with the iris movement it will it moves fluctuating like this. So this is important. And sir, do you do a iridectomy? Sorry for interrupt. Do you do a peripheral iridectomy? Do you recommend? Now the, the, this lens is not exactly plano. Okay. It's regulated lens. I have not been uh, with the uh, this uh, iridectomy. Okay. Like in the you have done a, if you have done an anterior vitrectomy, then uh, it's I not required. Yes. Company, different companies, that, uh, that go that that company Optima, the, yeah. Optima and some other different companies. Very few. Huh? 
Let us. Different companies coming. One by one, this company very easy. Council around the eight hundred to one thousand three hundred. Not very costly. Not very costly. Just like the cost is just like P M L. That's all. The cost is same. Maybe the company may charge with the name of this company much more, but the the this price is this is equal to the any any P M L. P M L says somebody is marketing hundred, somebody is one thousand, two thousand. It's different. Story. Earlier, you know, in the I was on the era, it came to some, they are marketing 2,000, 4,000 like this. So, what is going to happen? To ask Dr. Dajizek, you used to fly free or off? Huh? Dr. Dajizek, you used to fly a free or free or off? Ah, yeah. But now they are available at 600 rupees. Yesterday only available. Even 600, even less than 600. 600, but I know some of the company market only 400 something, 400, 500, 300, 400. Cash is no problem. Cash is very cash effective. Very cash effective, no need, no need of any suture or time taken. Or procedure is very simple. You know, it's going to fix and uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, development of technique of suturing, glue, doing the glue, and mm -hmm. how to shake and technique this way, how to pass it, how to pass it is so easy, easy. You can, you can only, if you know the basic principle that I have told, slightly like this, tilt it, and you can see the clock. Very, very, you can from base, base from the interior. And just like this, put it, the sinus yes, will be better. So just like this. Thank this you so much. Thank you so much, Professor Singh. That was absolutely uh, amazing. And I think I'm sure everybody has learned a lot. Uh, so with that, I think I'd like to conclude the session. Thank you all for uh, participating and thank you also Dr. Prasad.